Hello beautiful people, my name is Amanda Zitto. If you are new here, I make motorcycle travel vlogs, how-tos, and general encouragement for you to get out and do the thing. Today, we are making five can chili from Fresh Off The Grid, or at least my adaptation of it, because I found out last night I can't handle the spiciness at the, like, yeah, I can't handle the spiciness. <laughs> Before we get started, I wanna thank today's sponsor, motocampnerd.com. If you're just getting started motorcycle camping, or if you're just looking to upgrade a few things in your kit, head on over to motocampnerd.com and use the code MEGPIE for 10% off of your order. This chili has been on my want to recreate list off of the Fresh Off The Grid website for quite some time now, and it is perfect for camping in the cold. And while it may be relatively warm right now, I know that it's gonna get much, much colder tonight, so. It's a great idea to eat hearty, heavier, fattier food when you're camping and it's gonna be cold because it's gonna take your body longer to burn all those calories, which is gonna keep you warmer during the night. How you fuel your body matters, you guys. <laughs> Part of the reason I was so drawn to this recipe is because it's so simple as for ingredients that you need to buy before you get to camp. The problem being is that this is a great recipe for like three to four people, but little old me, it was a bit much. So I took the liberty of pre-prepping my food before I got out here. So I reduced the amount of uh, ingredients that I was bringing so it would just make enough for me so I wouldn't have to worry about dealing with any leftovers. So I drained all the beans and the tomatoes and repackaged them in my can here. Same with the peppers. I de-seeded them at home so I wouldn't have to deal with that messy business in camp. The only thing that I haven't prepped yet is my onion, and that's because I'm gonna use half this onion for breakfast tomorrow, so I figured I would just chop it in camp. If you're a weekend camper, things like this where you pre-prep your ingredients before you get to camp is gonna make your life at camp so much easier, and also make it so that you can enjoy nicer recipes than hot dogs on a stick. <laughs> I know that a lot of you after our little survey on the community tab are more weekend warriors than you do long trips. So stuff like this, that's that's how you start making fancier meals at camp, you guys. You pre-prep your ingredients at home. So all you have to do at camp is cook it or heat it up. So I'm gonna give you the amounts that I'm gonna use for myself, but know that this recipe is meant for three to four people. Make sure you go check out the Fresh Off The Grib website for the original recipe. I'm gonna cut up half of this onion. I pre-prepped at home a quarter can of black beans, a quarter can of kidney beans, and a quarter can of diced tomatoes, which are all in this jar. I also uh, took out a quarter of a can of chipotle peppers and a little bit of adobo sauce. I took out all the seeds from the chipotle peppers and put them in here and roughly chopped them. I, <laughs> spoiler, I'm not gonna use all of these peppers. I also, <laughs> I did have a can of beer, but I uh, used it to make the chili last night. So I stopped in town and uh, the only thing that I could find was this giant can of apple cider. So we're substituting beer for apple cider. I'm not gonna use this whole thing. I really only need like a quarter of a 12 ounce can. <laughs> so maybe that's like, I don't know, like a 10th of this. We also need salt, cumin, and some garlic powder. All right, so I'm gonna chop up my onion and then get that going in my pot. All right, now that we've got our onions all chopped up, added to our pot, we're gonna add them to the heat until they get kind of translucent, and then we're gonna add our other ingredients and let it simmer for a while. All right, now that our onions are mostly translucent, we're gonna add the rest of the beans and let everything simmer and do its good stuff together. We're only gonna add a little bit of the chilies. Let's just start with that and see how it goes. <laughs> All right, now our cider. All right, and then make sure to add your pinch of salt. I'm gonna add a little bit of garlic powder. Cause there's never enough garlic. And then a bit of our cumin. 
Human? Human. Human? Human. Believe it or not, it will thicken up. <laughs> Man, even when I get into camp, quote unquote, early, I still can't eat before the sun goes down. This is looking pretty good, you guys. I'm gonna pull it off of the heat and give it a good taste and see how I did. Hopefully it's not super spicy. Oh God. As you can see by my layers, it got a little bit chillier when the sun went down. <laughs> Moment of truth. Wow, I only put like two pieces of chili in there and still, still pretty spicy. I'm so glad that I brought bread. <laughs> I actually think that the cider was a good choice. Um, I like this a lot better. It doesn't have like that weird sour that we were getting with the chili that I made last night because of the beer. All right, beautiful people, I hope that you enjoyed today's video. Make sure that you hit that like and subscribe button if you did. I will have my trucker stove and my pots and pans and my equipment listed down in the description and make sure that if you do stop by motocampner.com to use my code MAGPIE for 10% off of your order. Question for my end screen crew. Does your family have like a secret chili recipe that's like your family chili recipe or are you a canned chili person? <laughs> I'm very interested to see the comments. All right, you guys, I'll see you later. I did try to make this meal at home already because I had to split up the ingredients so it would just be enough for me here at camp. So I used the rest of the ingredients to make the chili for my significant other and I. I found out very quickly that five chipotle chilies is way, 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 way too much for me. <laughs> so I'm glad that I did that experiment because that means I can adjust the recipe so that my face doesn't melt off. <laughs>